This is Eric Bloom from Daytona Jeep and Golf Cart Rental. Thank you so much for choosing us. This is the absolute best way to have fun and enjoy beautiful Daytona Beach. Before you get started, I need to go over some of the operations of the golf cart as well as the rules of the road. All renters and anyone operating the golf cart must be 18 or older with proof of insurance. To start, the golf cart is allowed to drive on any roads 35 miles per hour or less on the beach side meaning they must not travel over any bridges. Here is a map that details beach entrances as well as boundaries and can be received at any of the beach approach entrance booths. Our carts are able to be driven from Granada Boulevard in Ormond all the way to the lighthouse in Ponce Inlet, a distance spanning nearly 20 miles. In addition, the golf carts are treated as regular vehicles on the street and must abide by traditional rules of the road. The golf carts are gas powered and are rented with a full tank of gas. It is not necessary to return the cart on full and will only need additional fuel if you should need it during your rental. Regular 89 octane is sufficient. The gas tank is located on the passenger side and the seat flips forward to gain access to the engine compartment. Please do not slightly depress the accelerator to keep it idling at stoplights or while in traffic as it damages the starters. There is a choke located just behind the left knee of the driver that may need pulled out for just a few seconds in cold weather or first thing in the morning and then immediately pushed back in. To begin, turn the key all the way to the right and the cart will be turned on. The forward and reverse selector is directly between the driver and passenger near the back of your knees. The lever facing toward the driver is forward and positioned toward the passenger is reverse. Even with the key on, the cart does not move or make any sounds until the accelerator pedal is pressed. Once you press the accelerator, the emergency brake will automatically release and you will be on your way. The golf cart is equipped with many of the same features of a normal car, including headlights, turn signals, seat belts, mirrors, windshield and wiper, Florida license plate, and horn. Please be sure to treat the golf cart in the same manner as a traditional vehicle, as the same rules apply with law enforcement and the consequences of misconduct. The golf cart is equipped as either a four or six passenger and has one seatbelt for each person. There can be absolutely no overloading of the vehicles. The front windshield can be flipped to the up position on windy or rainy days by having the cart completely stopped and placing the rubber arms around the two black metal supports. Do not put the windshield up or down while the cart is in motion as a cracked windshield will need to be replaced at the renter's expense. The golf carts are very common on the streets of Daytona and A1A and are legally governed to travel between 20 and 25 miles per hour. Therefore, even on 35 mile per hour roads, many cars will go around the slower moving golf carts. We recommend staying in the right hand lane unless otherwise making a turn. Once you arrive at your destination, the golf cart can be parked in a regular parking space at any shopping centers or hotels. Simply depress the top portion of the brake pedal with your toes and the golf cart's emergency brake will then be enabled. Pressing too hard or too quickly will result in a brake not being applied. Please be sure to take the key with you anytime you are not with the golf cart. In addition, if your golf cart is equipped with a wet sounds Bluetooth, the Bluetooth can be turned on by making sure that the key is all the way to the right and then pressing in and holding the top left button on the black soundbar for three to five seconds. You will see a blue light illuminate and will begin blinking. On your cell phone, go to the Bluetooth settings and turn it on. Then scroll to the bottom of the available Bluetooth options and select WS Stealth. It will take a few seconds for the Bluetooth to connect and then your blue light will stay solid. From there, the soundbar can be operated from your phone using Pandora or a similar music playing app. The volume can be changed by pressing the up and down arrows on the soundbar as well as the back or skip with the left and right buttons. Please be aware that the soundbar is run by a small onboard golf cart battery and it drains very, very quickly while sitting still, as quickly as five or 10 minutes. You are available to use the Bluetooth continuously while driving around, but do not use it as a radio while parked at the beach as a dead battery will leave you stranded. The golf carts also have a prepaid beach driving pass for your convenience, and the beach can be accessed from sunrise to sunset daily, weather and tide permitting. The beach will often close for a few hours depending on the day and level of high tide. In addition, if one of the approaches is closed, there's often other approaches that are still available for access. Typically, Daytona does not have as high of a tide as the beaches in Ormond. Once on the beach, the speed limit is 10 miles per hour and is strictly enforced. 
The driving lanes are clearly marked with signs every couple hundred feet. During the height of summer, the sand will become soft, and we recommend driving around the areas that appear soft and then returning to the designated driving lanes as quickly as possible. Absolutely do not drive the golf carts in or near the ocean water for any reason. Thank you so much for renting from Daytona Jeep and Golf Cart Rental. I hope that you enjoy your day exploring Daytona Beach and hope that you share some of your memories on our social media. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Click the links below. Post a picture of your experience or write a review and we will send you a free gift. If you should have any questions or concerns during your rental, please feel free to call us or text us anytime at 386-449-9599.